The beautiful and unique Century Link Field is the home for this NFC West battle between the 49ers and the Seahawks. Partner, we've got an offense that loves to air it out, going against a defense that can shut down the passing game most weeks. What gives? Yeah, when you talk about a defense that can stop the passing game, what we're really talking about, Jim, is a defense that can rush the passer. If you give this offense a little time to throw it, I think the skill outside is better than the defensive backs. I think they can win if they give the quarterback the time. comes out. Free kick out of bounds. Kicking team. Can you believe this? It was like what Carolina did in that Super Bowl 38 long ago after they had just tied it with about a minute to play and they kicked it out and set up the Patriots at the 40. You talk about just giving a team a huge break. Well, it just turns the game completely around where you're thinking about, hey, we're going to stop them and get field, good field position. Instead, you kick it out of bounds, and now you're just trying to hold on to get a chance to take the game into overtime. They need to get the playoff. Baldwin's in the slot. Offense going to stop the game here with a timeout. The defense stops the clock. They face first down. He'll fire it out to the left. Baldwin's there with the sure hands to pull in the rocket pass. Uh, there's nothing the defense can do. When you talk about a receiver like these guys out there now, and, and this one in particular, the double coverage, they're still able to go in between the defenders, rise up and make the catch. What a catch. Sometimes the defense can be all over the receiver. It doesn't matter. You cannot stop a great catch. That reception gave them the first down. Looking for an open receiver on the right. And he's intercepted. Breaks away. He's brought to a halt. Well, it's a bad decision that time by the quarterback, and it results in an interception. When you throw one like that early in the game, it can definitely shake your confidence for the rest of the day. is in the backfield. The throw to the left. The 49ers now move the chains. Well, they call this route a lot of things. They call it a goal route, a nine route, or a fly route. And all of them mean the same thing. Run as fast as you can, get behind the defense. First and 10. To Vernon Davis. That ball was going the other way. Tackles made. When you get an opportunity like this, you want to take advantage of it. The defense did. The opportunity was there. They get a chance to intercept the football. They do. Now, can their offense take advantage of this situation? First down here. The quarterback will hand it off. Running to the right. Picks up the first and still has some room to run. In the promised land. Touchdown. Anytime you see a long run for a touchdown, what you got to look for is blocking downfield. Nice job by the 
uh, wide receivers and everybody hustling, making a block and a long touchdown run. The 49ers in kickoff return formation. come out two tight ends on the field first and ten escaping the pressure he's looking to the right here on this throw and he's intercepted and he's brought to the ground Jim this defense is just attacking today they got the offense backed up they go after them they're aggressive and what does it do for him? It gets him an interception inside the opponent's 20-yard line. Baldwin's a receiver in the slot. First and 10 looks to his left. On the spot. The Seahawks are in the end zone for the touchdown. Well, that was a good job on that touchdown that time. And I tell you, there's nothing like being on top of the other team and make them chase you. The Seahawks lined up now for the point after. Inside of the uprights. Steven Hauschka ready for the kickoff. Stop him from running it out to the 20. Mark him down at the 19. Ohio! Ohio! Gore is lined up in a single back formation. Trying to power his way right up the middle. When you run the football like this and you show toughness, there is no doubt when you fake it and try to throw the football down the field, the quarterback's going to have all day to get it done. It's a mindset. It's a culture. That's what you've got to create when you talk about running the football. And when you get it going the right way, you can grind the defense up. Another first down for this offense running the football. That'll put them in what we call plus territory. Perfect defense call that time. They allowed the catch. The coach on the sidelines going, well, what else do you want me to do? We had the guy double covered, and you still couldn't make the play. Outside defense. He was trying to get an early jump on the play, but the referee Just caught him in the neutral zone. First down following the penalty. No room to complete that one. After the incomplete pass, it brings up second down. Throws to the right. How did he drop that? Look at the ball in. With the gloves these receivers wear, the rules that you can't touch them, there's no excuse for dropping the football. Colin Kaepernick under center. Third and five. Working that left side. That reception picks up the first down. The quarterbacks and receivers in this NFL now are so good. It's so easy for them to throw and catch and just keep picking up those first downs. Let's see how they back up the big play here. Getting away from the pressure. Incompletion on that hurry throw. Got to have good feet as a quarterback in today's game. and it, Well, that's always been the case. 
But when you get under pressure, you got to be able to move outside and see if you can make a play. Frank Gore is in the backfield. Second and ten. Looking to scramble. The quarterback will protect himself here as he slides to a hook. Anytime you get in the red zone, you want to punch it in there and get seven points. Uh, they're being dominated today. They're down more than seven, but don't worry about it. Score here. And Touchdown. And this game just got a whole lot more interesting. Well, the offensive line did it all on this drive, didn't they? Here it is on first and goal. Nice job of pass blocking. And the quarterback finds the open receiver for the touchdown. The PAT sails wide here. will be returning this one. And he's tackled right at about the 28-yard line. Baldwin's going to get set in the slot for this snap. The give, searching for space to the right. He's going to be tackled right around the 49. That's an excellent job. Just get enough yardage to get the first down, move those chains, and keep this offense going. Here they come, back to the line after picking up over 20 yards on that last play. The defense gets a sack. Well, that's a good job by the defense that time, getting the sack on the blitz. And when you blitz, you're taking a chance. You better get to the quarterback, and that time they did. Wilson's going to take the snap from the shotgun. A foot race to the end zone. The 20, the 10, and in for the touchdown. Short passes are just as important as the long passes down the field. This time, a short accurate pass. Look what it leads to. All those yards after the catch. Nice run, nice catch, touchdown. The Seahawks with an extra point try on the way. No, it's not. It's a fake. And so they convert it here on the two-point try. Seahawks ready here for the kickoff. out across the 20 and tackled at the 21. One last play before the quarter ends. Now first and 10. On the run. He's got a wide open alley and slides to a stop. And that's going to do it for the first quarter. We'll be back from Seattle for the start of the second after the break. The 49ers on offense here to start the second quarter. Two tight ends. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. Under fire on that throw. Ohio! Ohio! Colin Kaepernick under center. And the give to Frank Gore. They bring him to the turf. It's kind of refreshing to watch, isn't it? To see a team that has faith, the toughness, and the patience to just keep running the football, grinding out these first downs resting their defense and tiring out the opponent's defense. Impressive piece of running by Gore. That's a nice job blocking by the offensive line and a really good job by the running back. Seeing the proper hole, gets up in there and picks up big yards. Here they come, back to the line after picking up over 20 yards on that last play. He has the grab 
and he is tackled down at the 38-yard line. There wasn't much there that time, so good job by the quarterback just throwing the ball and, and, and getting the catch and just getting a couple yards. And then they go run it. Here's the handoff. That's a touchdown, and that tightens things up. There is nothing like getting a long running play for a touchdown. When you do, you just feel like you're stealing something. It takes good blocks, but most importantly, it takes a talented running back to get it done, and this team definitely has one. Throws the pass. Put an additional two points on the board as they convert. The Seahawks are in shape now to return the kick. will run this one back and he's met head on right there at the 20. They come to the line and it's first down. Baldwin's got it on the handoff. They run right. Stop the play right there. Nothing fancy about that, but it's a good run. Gets a first down. Now the offense has three more chances. Baldwin's lined up now as a slot receiver. Challenging the defenders to the right side. 21-yard pickup. You know, when you throw the football like that down the field, you pick up a first down. Now you can do anything you want on the offensive side, and you got that defense guessing. First down following the long play. Wilson from the shotgun. He'll throw it over the middle. That ball has been picked off. They've got him down there. Most NFL linebackers, they're borderline good enough to be a running back, and they got the hands of defensive backs. Here's a good case. What a fine catch on the interception by the linebacker. Colin Kaepernick under center. First and ten. Here's the handoff, and they'll run it. And he'll go to the left. He steps out. Good job of the defensive line standing in there and fighting. And they hold the running back to a short game. Second down here after that run play. Looking to the right side and throwing. Good yardage picked up on that call. And now we reach the two-minute warning here in the second quarter. Gores lined up as the single back. Kaepernick's going back to the air on this play. Scrambling out of the pocket. He's in the clear. And the quarterback will bail out on this play and slide feet first. Well, that's an awesome job by the quarterback. He hung in there as long as he could, but the pressure made him get outside the pocket. And look at him. He's looking down the field for the... For a pass, there's nothing there. And then he decides to scramble and look at the big yards he picks up. What a good job by the defensive player there. Just flushing the running back and driving him into the ground. And the drop back. Just had to avoid the sack. Incomplete. Play number six coming up on this drive. Third and four. Secures it with two hands. Another first down by the offense. The defense is definitely getting fatigued. And when you get fatigued, you cannot think, so look out. The handoff running behind the tackle. Muscles through the defender. He steps out. When you run off tackle, one of the things you're looking for is for your tackle to make a good block. And then if you have a lead fullback, can he get past him and block the linebacker to free up the halfback so he can go in between them and get in the secondary and make a big play. If I'm on the defense and the offense is this close to scoring, I'll tell you what I'm doing. I am sending everybody. I am going to gamble that it is a run. If they have the courage to throw it, let them. If they do, of course it will be a touchdown. Mounting a serious drive. Second and goal from the four. Interception. 
they pounce on him there. You got to stay aggressive on the defensive side. That time the defense did. Even though the offense was going in to score, they finally they come up with the big play and they get the interception inside their own 20 yard line. First down here. The shotgun looking for an open receiver on the right. Well, when you keep chipping away with these short throws, sooner or later that defense is going to come up, and when they come up, that's when you throw it over the top. Second down coming up. Wilson's going to take it from the gun. Russell Wilson has his man. It's Percy Harvin on the receiving end. Well, it was a nice throw by the quarterback that time to, to get just enough yards to pick up the first down. After the long gain, let's see what they do here. Caught. He's in, he's in the clear. The 20, the 10. All the way home and all alone. Touchdown. Nothing like having a quarterback who has a good arm who can, who can just fire that football into some tight spots. And then it helps with the receiver. He's got the talent and the courage to go in there and make that tough catch. The 49ers in kickoff return formation. at the 18-yard line. Flex. Flex. First down, Ohio. offense ready for the snap. Looking across the middle, Vernon Davis hauls it in. The 49ers call a timeout and are left now with only one. Ohio! Ohio! First down here after the completion. The defense gets the sack. Well, that's a sign of a good defense. When you can sack the quarterback and you're just rushing the defensive lineman, you don't need any tricks, you don't need any blitzes. Man, that's talent. Snap in halftime. Going for the deep ball. Very nearly intercepted. So that's going to do it here for the first half. Seahawks are up here in this one. We're back here now in this one, where the Seahawks lead by 15. Let's check in on the sidelines. Danielle Bellini is there. I got a chance to quickly speak with Coach Carroll during halftime. Jim, with the lead here at the half, he was feeling good about how things had gone to this point. He said, I think we're doing a good job repeating what we did in practice. We've come out and we're confident in what we're doing, and it shows on the scoreboard. Now they've just got to do it for another half, guys. Back to you. Danielle, thank you very much. Now we'll go to the field. First and ten, first down on the way. He brings it in here, and he's got the first. I like this. Show some patience. Don't try to get it all one play. 
pick up first downs and try to go down the field and score. Kaepernick's going to throw once again on this down. Gets away from the pressure. He's got some daylight. You got to know it when you're playing against a quarterback who can run. You got to have some discipline. They did not on the defensive side. They blitzed. They didn't stay in their lanes. And the quarterback saw the open spot and picked up some big yards. That tackle was made at the 27-yard line. That time, the pass is completed into double coverage, Jim. But the quarterback made a bad read. But these receivers, they are so good nowadays. That time, in double coverage, he went up and made the catch. It's like Bill Parcell said to me once about Mark Mavaro, a very talented receiver. He goes, remember, Sims, when he's covered, he's open. Second down here. He's got the grab, and he's got the first. Nice throw that time by the quarterback in the red zone. Gets a completion, and there's some tight spots. Not a lot of room, so you got to really drive the football in there. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. Running away from the pressure. 49ers in the end zone. Anytime the offense is near the goal line, you got to be alert for the quarterback moving and trying to run with the football. Nobody on the defense is watching the quarterback, and he just scrambles in easily for the touchdown. They will not find a way into the end zone, so they'll only get six points out of the trip. The Seahawks are set to return the kickoff. Percy Harvin gets the chance to return this kickoff. And they stop him from running it out to the 20. Mark him down at the 19. Baldwin's lined up in the slot. Russell Wilson will take it from the gun. Percy Harvin with the grab. When the football's in the air, the receiver on the curl route has to see it and come back towards the quarterback. That's what he did that time. That's why they got the completion. Second and one. They run the counter play, bringing the play to an end. Excellent job of just picking up the first down. This offense is hot. Another first down, and they are moving down the field. Baldwin's in the slot. First down and 10. Running a little college-like option. Picks up nine. Good job by the defensive player squaring up that running back and just put his big butt right into the ground. This will be second down. Baldwin's going to secure the handoff. Left side. Well, it's about deceiving the defense, isn't it? That's how you get a lot done in the NFL. And when you can run and pass, you can deceive them in a lot of ways. Nice job by the offense running that football, picking up another first down and moving the chains. First and ten. Eyeing that left side. Reed is there and has the pick. Good job that time by the defense. Not being fooled, being in position. When you're in position, you have a chance to make the play. That time they did, they got the interception. Colin Kaepernick under center. First and ten. Looking for a receiver on the left side here. Nowhere else to go, and he's out of bounds. What a nice catch by the receiver. Getting past the yard markers, makes the catch, and gets the first down. Gore is lined up behind his quarterback as the single back. First and ten. Had it, but dropped it. You don't see it often in today's game. These gloves, these wide receivers wear. My gosh, anybody can catch it. I don't know how he dropped it. 
failing to complete that one. So second down here. They're gonna take off with it. Taking off. Steps out of bounds. When you have an offense like this that just keeps getting first downs, not only are they moving in scoring position, but they're giving their defense a lot of rest. With this play, they'll go with two tight ends. First and ten. Gore. Slashes to the left side. Well, that was a nice run that time off tackle. And listen, this is a bread and butter play in the NFL. It's about how a running. Can your offensive tackle make the block to free up that running back so he has a chance to get that secondary and make a nice run out of it? And one Bolden with the catch. Well, anytime you're in the red zone, you want to punch it in and get that touchdown. If they do that, look, they're still, they're still going to be behind, but it gives them confidence moving forward. Kaepernick's dropping back to throw once again. Good job by the offense getting in the red zone. Now you're down some points. you got to find a way to score a touchdown. Frank Gore is in the backfield. Gore is going to take the handoff now. Well, his defense all over that play. They tackled the runner for a loss. Now we're going to have third long advantage goes to the defense. Three-step drop, trying to work that left side. Good job by the offense. They're in the red zone. They're down by more than seven. But the defense, can you stop them and just give up the field goal try? And that's going to do it for the third quarter. We'll be back to the beautiful skyline of Seattle for the start of the fourth after the break. Coming up, here is the first snap of the final quarter. He'll fire it out to the left, and no one is going to catch this one as it goes out of bounds. Ohio! Ohio! And the defense will use one of its timeouts right here. Play after play here on this drive. Second and goal from the six. In trouble now. They're going to get him this time. This defense, they are definitely not faint of heart, are they, Jim? They will bring the pressure. Good blitz that time, and they take the quarterback down. This has been a long drive so far. Catch is made. Touchdown. That'll close the gap. There's a nice touchdown there, and you chip it away at that lead. Try to get into the minds of the opponent. Will they get tight? Do you hear the word choke? Yeah, I think they could be choking over there on the other side. Look out. Extra point is good. 49ers setting up for the kickoff. Percy Harvin will be returning this one. Just across the 20 and tackled at the 21. It's first down as they head to the line. Escaping the pressure, he had no time to get set. This defense can pressure the quarterback. There's no doubt about it. They did this time, and it results in another incompletion. Second down after the incompletion. Wilson from the shotgun. He's looking to the right here on this throw, and he is tackled at the 24. That's a nice play that time by the offense, getting the first down. They're up here in the second half, and they're moving the football. That is a great feeling. This play set up by the long gainer. Throws to the right. Now they take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. When you can't hit the quarterback or put pressure on him, there's not much you're going to get done then. That time, quarterback had time and throws it down the field for another completion. Right, 
The clock's really become a factor here, and the defense knows it has to get off the field as soon as possible to give the team a chance. Jim, the offensive coordinator, has done a terrific job so far here today. He's got his team winning. You're in the red zone. Let's see how clever he's going to be on this call. Let's see what they do on first down following that huge play. Got a little screen set up here. He's in for the score. The Seahawks now lined up for the extra point. It's good. Steven Hauschka ready for the kickoff. Well, a lot of good things happened on both sides of the football this time. How about that return by the return team? Good job, good blocking. Look at the speed of that guy running. They get the tackle from behind. They stop the touchdown. Gets away from the pressure. He's got some daylight. They knock him down, and he's still two yards short of the first. Kaepernick, in some ways, is redefining the quarterback position with his ability to throw and run the football like we just saw. Yeah, you know, I'll say this about Colin Kaepernick. If he couldn't run at all, he still would be a very successful NFL quarterback because he has a tremendous arm to go along with those tremendous legs. Two-minute warning. Here's the first snap after the big play. now that pass play picks up a first down he stacked up at that point find a way to score that's always the mantra with every team when they get in the red zone if you punch it in here even though you're down by more than seven it'll give you confidence for the rest of the game trying to make something happen that time awesome job by avoiding the sack by the quarterback gets out of trouble gets outside hey even though he doesn't get a completion good job avoiding the negative yards Second down following that incompletion. At it for a moment, but the ball is knocked out incomplete. Well, they always say if you get your hands on the football, you got to make the catch. Yeah, right. The guy that made that rule up wasn't getting hit as he was trying to catch the football. Nice hit that time by the defender. Third and goal from the nine. Challenging the defender. It's intercepted, and that's going to end the comeback attempt. Now in first down. Baldwin's taking the handoff. Slashing to the right side. That's a timeout by the D. Offense lines up here. Second down and seven. And it's incomplete. Just couldn't hold on to it after the hit. Good anticipation that time by the defender. He gets to the receiver just as the football is arriving. And he makes a beautiful hit to knock the football loose. Third down. The 49ers, one timeout remaining. Baldwin's a receiver in the slot. Wilson's back in shotgun formation. He fires it in there tight. Now they take the football onto the opponent side of the field. Well, I think we've heard this expression about 7,000 times. It's a passing league, so we all know that. So you got to be able to throw the football and pick up some first downs.
That long gain sets them up here on this play. To the ground here. Goes to the left. Five, maybe six out of that. When you have a defense as fast as this one, they over-pursue. So that's why you want to run a counter run. Take advantage of the fact that they are just charging too fast, too hard, and not thinking on the defensive side. Second and four. Complete. Swallowed up behind the line of scrimmage. The 49ers have to call one right here, and they do. And they are out of timeouts. Play number six coming up on this drive. Russell Wilson will take it from the gun. Jumps up into the air and makes the grab. The defense has got to be a little aggressive here. Your team is down. You've got to attack this offense. You don't want them to get in there and get another score. First and ten. Balls out. Recovery by the offense. Well, the defense always says, let's call some fumbles. Then when you cause it and you're not able to recover it, that is one emotional letdown. Wilson standing back in the shotgun, ready for the snap. Looking for Percy Harvin. Incomplete as that ball sails out of bounds. This will probably wrap things up here. Reaches in, knocks it away. Good job by the linebacker. Just watching the quarterback, reading his eyes. He made the move at the right time, and he knocked the pass down. The Seahawks getting set to attempt the field goal. The Seahawks are going to use one of the two timeouts they have remaining. The coach is going to go for it. Wide receivers are bunched up. Halfback sent in motion. What a grab. That's going to do it here in this one. Bill, before we go, how about a little chat about how much this win means? Well, you know, Jim, let's look at it this way. It was just a nice win. It, it keeps your confidence up, and it just gives you a little energy to, uh, to go out next week and try to accomplish it again.